Okay, I got a crust for doing a Slytherin's Locket. So actually, I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy about it. Sometimes I draw something and I'm like, bah, 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 but I don't do it over. Uh, this one, I'm like, hey, I think it turned out pretty good. So we are gonna start with a uh, fun fact. So the Slytherin Locket um, was when Dumbledore and Harry Potter retrieved the locket and it hold Voldemort's third Horcrux. That name is cracking me up, but anyways. We're gonna start right in the center of your page and you are going to draw a circle. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll, ugh, I'll just keep going around a few times till I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I think that's as round as it's gonna get, you know? Or you can find something that actually is a circle shape and you can trace it and then go from there. That's even better. And inside there is the snake and it has green jewels in it. So we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw the snake in there. And I I tried to look at lots of pictures, but it had something like a, um, a head here and inside here is the jewels. Okay. And of course, everybody knows that the, the mascot for it is a snake and their colors are um, gray and green and I think black. So inside there, we are going to draw the green jewel. So you're just going to do circles all down its back. This is where the green is inside. Keep going till you get all the way and we're just gonna go here and then put one at the end, okay? So we're gonna do here, you can make them smaller and then there's gonna be one on each end here. Okay, so that is the center. Now we wanna do the octagon. Oh, fun fact. So in the book, um, the locket is described as a heavy gold oval locket. But in the movie, this is the movie one, it's shown as an octagon, an octagon has eight sides, and a silver locket with gold glass. So this one is the, yeah, the movie one. So we're gonna do a parallel line on each side. And then you're gonna do a line on top and a line on the bottom. And then we're gonna connect those, okay? Okay, fantastic. And coming in, this is the glass. So it, when you sharpie it, it's just gonna be like, fish coming into the center. Some of it gonna go over, make some shorter, some longer. Okay, great job. I might make this one a little longer. Okay. So now you want to do parallel lines of the outside silver part of the locket. So I'm just going to go on the outside. Uh, yes, I'm going to keep going here. If you want to use a ruler, that makes it nice and straight. But I just kind of freeballed this. So now we want the locket to look more 3D. So in this one, we're gonna make it go down and then this one parallel to make it go down. Now we're gonna give it the details. So it actually has, so I'm just gonna do one line here so we know where to put that decorative piece. And then we're gonna do the bottom part of it. Super job. And on the this side, this is gonna be where the hinges. So we're gonna make one long rectangle here. And then two smaller ones here. Okay, fantastic. And um, now we'll finish off the locket. It's gonna go down here. You're gonna go past, I don't know if I did this right. Like it doesn't look like it's in the center. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. We're still getting it drawn, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do this decorative piece down here. So I'm just gonna go 
boop, boop. It's like a top of that castle part. Actually very easy and fun to do. So keep it going. Um, Salazar Slytherin was obsessed with pure bloods. And um, even the Sorting Hat admitted that wizard born blood is a factor in sorting into Slytherin. Okay, so we're gonna do like that. All right, so under here is gonna be just the gray shadow. I'm not going to Sharpie that, but it's down there. And now we're gonna put the top part of it. So it's like a half, it's like a little rainbow, one rainbow. Um, it's more like an oval. And then we are gonna have the swoosh. This is like the, the locket part of it. It kind of swirls around. Okay, so now we're gonna put the chain on there. So how you do this, you make an oval, because we're gonna be erasing some of this. I know, there's somebody that said, hey, can you not erase? Well, sorry, I love erasers, they're my friend. And I, I said, send me your email and I'll mail you some, but she's like, I don't know who you are, which I understand. I was just offering a solution to your problem. I would have bought you some erasers and mailed them to you. because erasers are amazing. Okay, so it, it's like interlocking and you can make these chains go as much as you want. I made them just go behind just because it's difficult and then I just did a little in here. So we're gonna do another, it's like an oval, piece of the oval. And then you're gonna do one that's gonna go this way. And then you're going to not, you can draw it in with pencil and then when you sharpie it, you're going to just erase where it comes over it. So it looks like it's chained together. We got another one here. Erase some in there. And we'll do another one. And then I'm gonna show you how I colored it to get it that look, okay? After I Sharpie it and more fun facts. So let's get Sharpieing with my teeny tiny Sharpie. So, here we go. Okay, one little detail is just give these just a little boop. So it looks like this is the locket where it, the metal bends. So I did this, and the little corners, and then I'm gonna take my giant Sharpie and then go around the outside. Well, it's just a regular Sharpie. Okay, I'm going to erase, and I have no idea why it's so far off, but it is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take yellow or golden yellow, and you are gonna color everything but the snake with that on the inside where the glass is. I'm gonna show you half of it.
So now I'm going to take my, oh, let's do the, oh, I forgot the tan. Okay, I have a tan color. Now I'm gonna go along the edge. And as you come in, just go a little bit lighter and lighter. And then on the inside here, we're gonna make this much darker, but you can start with the tan, do layers. And I'm gonna go along where the, the glass, the golden glass. Okay. Now I'm going to, let's get, I think we're just gonna get the regular brown. So we're gonna make it look like antique -y. So we're gonna come in here with the regular, just the brown, and then just do a little bit. And then to make it look mm, antique -y, we're just gonna make both squigglies like this. Come in there with like a light brown to warm it up. Go along the edge here, make it look like it's deep. Put some more age spots in it. It's like an old person. It's like me, old lady. Okay, here we go. Oh, other fun facts. Slytherin values are uh, cunning, resourcefulness, ambitious, and the Slytherin ro ro lo locket was handed down the family line until it ended up in the Gaunt family. So we're just going to make it, give it some character with these little spots. You don't need to make them perfectly round, make them a little odd shaped Go along the edge here. And then some of them actually have like a an orange hue to them. Oh, and also around here, we're gonna make it dark so it looks like it's kind of uh, embedded in there. And then as you come in, you're just gonna press down lighter and lighter. So it just gives it the faded look. And um, I'm gonna get some light brown in there. Just a little bit in there. Super job. here with some orange so some of them like this one it has more orange so it's gonna come in here put orange in there slight orange in here you don't want to make them all orange but it just has like a slight hue of orange this one's orange oh I forgot to do the bottom part so always want the shadow around it So you're just gonna keep working it till you get the colors just right. This in here, I colored orange too. Okay, and so here we're just got, this is yellow, yellow green to make it bright. You're gonna put the little jewel, ah, jewels in there. snake itself 
is brown. So I'm just gonna get the regular brown. Okay, so I'm just gonna color that all in. And you can probably come in here. It looks like I made this a bit. So the snake color that in brown and it looks like I made this a bit darker here. So I'm gonna come in and give it a little extra dark in here, maybe some more aged spots. It looks a little streaky because my yellow was not working too well. Sometimes if the wood gets on there, it just gets all messed up. And I'm gonna come here and make this a little darker. I think I even put a little black in there. I think I did. So, oh, do I even have black? Mm, I have gray. Okay, well, let's try gray. Oh, gray's gonna be the same. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm just coloring that, but I'd probably go in there with black. And then with gray here, you're just gonna go on either side, make it dark on this side, dark on this side, and then lightly in the middle. Dark on this side. Dark on this side, and then lightly in the middle. And you can color these too. So this is giving the look to the locket, and then you wanna put a shadow down here. Whoosh. And you color that all in. But I think you guys can do this, and hope you guys have an amazing day.